Hello, my name is Josh Atkinson, and you have once again stumbled upon my portrait painting YouTube channel. Today we will continue exploring this development of my uh, process, making kind of rougher, uh, more expressive paintings with a portrait of my friend, Juha. Uh, Juha lives in Germany. I have never met him in person, but we are in a horror book club together. And so, um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I did a uh, uh, I posted online to my social media that if anybody wanted a free um, portrait in this style, this style, then um, they could let me know and I would do that for them if I got to keep the photos, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let's do the time lapse. So here's the source image and time lapse. You can faintly see a Brooklyn cityscape I wasn't entirely happy with, so I painted over it. Starting out with the Andrew uh, Loomis circle type thing, or my, my understanding of it. Uh, you will see in a moment that I, like I'm getting a good likeness and that's, you know, cool and everything. Definitely an essential part of what I'm trying to do as a painter. But his, um, his face is like bigger than the canvas or his face is taking up the entirety of the canvas and and this is the third painting in this series the previous two the head did not fill the whole canvas and i i preferred that so i'm gonna work on this and then i'm going to wipe it away and start again i thought that i would include that just so that i don't know we all get online and make our lives look simpler and more successful and so i just thought i would uh show you that that's not how painting <laughs> works so um yeah you can see this is a pretty challenging source image as well because we're lit from below which is unusual uh there's a lot of uh uh i told you how to do you know a very emotional expression and he sent me this like rage face which creates all kinds of uh skin folds you know wrinkles around his nose and eyes and stuff yeah there i'm wiping it off um, and, uh, it actually combines kind of cool with the cityscape underneath it. But anyway, back to the circle, um, and apparently I'm, th that was wrong too. All right, now we've, now we've got a, 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 a start. But yeah, it's a complicated image because it's lit from below, which is not how we naturally, uh, you know, the sun is above us. And so I think we have a predisposition to associate light with coming from above. And he has, you know, this expression that has lots of wrinkles, like I was saying. But he's also got a full mustache, full beard, and glasses. So there's some stumbling. Someone um, on, on that topic, somebody on my last video left a compliment. It was much appreciated if you're watching uh, this video. Thank you. Um, but they said that my painting was good and that it didn't have, like, an ugly stage. And awesome cool but i do just want to like say not that i'm you know uh, well, i don't know am i an expert i don't know if you like my paintings i guess i'm an expert i'm an expert in my style let's say that but i do just want to caution people to not let the idea of having an ugly stage in your process um become something that gets in your way or intimidates you like it's not something to be avoided like uh it just, it doesn't matter, like, if there's if there's an ugly stage in your painting, or whatever, your music composition, or your, your dance piece, or whatever you want to work on, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters except the final product, you know, and the journey, and all your self-esteem happy, blah, 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 I don't know. I'm not an expert on that either, but the final product is what gets evaluated, so, so I would just say don't, don't, having an ugly stage is not something to try to avoid uh so anyway yeah but um especially when you're kind of painting in a in a somewhat arguably ugly style and like i'm down with that but um but yeah this painting also became challenging because it's it's just so warm toned i like my paintings to have warm and cool, you know, a good balance, but I probably skew more toward cool. 
uh, Yuha, I'm assuming, used a very yellow light, and so it's all, even that green, that's, that's a, a warm green, sap green kind of color. So that became a challenge. At the very end, you can see, um, I hope you'll be able to see, I paint you, you, just this tiny little reflection of his computer screen, his, the blue light of his laptop or whatever, and his glasses, and that's kind of the only cool tone that I get in. Although some of these reds are kind of verging on, I don't know, a cooler version of red. As I said in my last video, I see green and yellow in people's eyebrows, and I'm, I'm putting it in his facial hair. The style that's emerging for me is about, I guess, imposing... Not imposing color in places that it doesn't exist, but seeing a hint of green and then getting a little, a little, uh, you know, raucous, a little crazy cowboy with all the green that I throw in. Um, why? I don't know. I, I could not tell you if I knew how to describe my uh, aesthetic with words. I probably wouldn't need paint. But his beard at this stage is not really doing it for me. I think we improve that a bit later. Now here's a little tip. If I've never mentioned this before, it was really helpful in painting eyes. They are round, so like the white of the eye, obviously it's, it's not plain white, but there's also like shadow to it. So if he's lit from below, the lighter, the lighter round surface of his eyes will be the lower part. So you can put a bit of shadow above that. And also the highlight, if you, you can see I've put that at the, the bottom of his eyes. So at some point soon, directly across from that, I will be lightening his um, iris. So that's just a helpful hint. That's true of eyes. Um, that's true of glass. It's just uh, the highlight, like in the, di the diametric opposite point from the highlight is the second lightest part of something that is um, translucent, like the iris of an eyeball or some or a, a glass or a bottle or whatever. But anyway, so it's coming along, and um, yeah, we're just about done, in fact. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and um, there's the little bit of computer light I'm adding in. Uh, yeah, so I hope that this has been helpful. And this is the finished painting. It is a five by seven oil painting. So then that is how uh, I arrived at this portrait of my friend Yuha. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, I wanted to also say thank you for the handful of comments and new subscribers that I got recently. Um, I would love to get more comments about what, I mean, any questions you have or uh, your own efforts to discover your personal style or things you'd like to see me paint in the future. Um, I'd like this to be more of a conversation, YouTube. So, um, so yeah, comment away. And please do like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I guess that's everything. So I'll see you next Monday with another portrait. All right, bye.